Today's episode of the More You Know podcast is brought to you by CrowdQuestion, a brand new social communication platform focused on connecting crowds to bring everyone closer to their community, as well as enhancing any occasion. Rather than being a social media platform focused on content and advertising, they're focused on communication and connection. Learn more about the platform and download the app free at crowdquestion.com. trying to make it all make sense me more you no podcast today i want to go through a pop quiz to assess the genuine friendships you have in your life developed and discussed by patrick morley in his book the man in the mirror in life there's different forms of friendships there's pleasure friendships which are based on a shared pleasure there's utility friendships which surround some form of shared utility such as a work friend and finally you have genuine or goodness friendships which are based in genuine appreciation respect and love for one another and with this being said friendships you have with other people in life are all different and provide different levels of value those that you have genuine friendship with provide the most value and are those you should really hold dearly to your heart this is because they are aren't based in any form of transaction, which not only makes them pure, but also sustainable. You see, pleasure and utility friendships are non-sustainable because they're based on some form of transaction, and once you stop sharing that pleasure or utility, oftentimes those friendships crumble. So what this means is, genuine friends are very important to have in life, and they should be highly appreciated. You should also have a clear understanding of who your genuine friends are, so you can ensure you maintain those relationships, and appreciate the time you have with them. The unfortunate reality is, is, though, oftentimes people think that their pleasure and utility friendships are equivalent to their best friends or genuine friendships, and then this can get in the way of valuing your genuine friendships. So you can determine the genuine friendships you have in life by taking this pop quiz which I'm about to go through. The quiz will help enlighten you and provide the proper perspective, and I now want to go through the quiz. So the pop quiz is a series of questions to answer with either a yes or a no. The first question is, when things go sour and you feel really lousy, do you have a friend you can tell? Then question number two is, do you have a friend you can express any honest thought to without fear or appearing foolish? Next question number three is, do you have a friend who will let you talk through a problem without providing advice? After that question number four is, will your friend risk your disapproval to suggest you may be getting off track with your priorities? From there the fifth question is then, do you have a friend who will tell you you are using poor judgment? Then question number six is, if you've had a moral failure, do you know that your friend will stand with you? Next, seventh is, is there a friend with whom you feel you are facing life together? Someone you can talk over the struggles of life with? After that, the eighth question is, do you have a friend you believe you can trust? From there, the ninth question is then, when you are vulnerable and transparent with your friend, are you convinced that they think nothing less of you? And finally, question 10 is, do you meet or speak with a friend weekly or bi-weekly and provide accountability for one another? So this quiz isn't a quiz that you necessarily score, but more so assess. If you're unable to answer most of these questions with a yes, you should take the risk to develop a few genuine friendships. And if you did answer yes to most of these questions, you should be grateful for those genuine friendships you have, and make sure you value as well as prioritize them. No matter who you are or how you view friendship in life, having genuine friendships provides immense value in your life. While pleasure and utility friendships can be nice, they aren't necessarily sustainable and don't provide the same level of connection that genuine friendships do. Because of this, you must be aware of the genuine friendships you have in life, making sure you make time for them and valuing them. Genuine friendships not only provide support which is nice to have, but also enable development and growth. And because of this, you provide value to one another and grow with one another and will also no doubt assist with making a tremendous tremendous impact in this world and crafting a life of significance. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it. Check out other episodes, leave a review, follow the podcast on social media at More You Know Pod, and sign up for CrowdQuestion to ask me questions about the episode. Again, thank you for listening as we propel through podcasting with the more you know. trying to make it all make sense. Please. More. You. No. Podcast.